Dexter's complex needs, including autism, Tourette's, sensory and movement disorders, saw his parents withdraw him from mainstream school four years ago. Now aged nine, he's still educated at home. The family say they finally found a specialist school that's ideal for him, but in the neighbouring county, and that their local council won't fund his place there. Well, it's almost unbelievable to be in this position. Obviously, Dexter isn't getting the specialist education, the therapies that he should have. We're having to find a way to deliver these as best we can. And I feel sympathetic to the local authorities trying to make not enough money spread around all these children. The fundamental issue is we should be valuing education for all. The National Audit Office found from 2013 to 18, the number of pupils with the highest level of needs rose 10%. There was also a 20% increase in the number going to special schools in that time. And the proportion of councils overspending on their budget for these pupils rose from 47% to 81%. It's clear that mainstream schools have been under a range of pressures. Um, although the Department for Education has increased school funding in recent years because of the demand for support growing more quickly, the amount of money available per pupil has gone down. This summer, many families reliant on specialist education protested in Westminster. The government has announced a £700 million funding boost and is reviewing the system to end what it calls the postcode lottery. Dexter's family say they'll fight for as long as it takes. These are kids with amazing abilities. They can do so much. Um, and it's just finding the right way for them to learn. And I think we're really missing out. That's it, or three ounces. For Dexter, for now at least, the only learning environment is at home. Peter Lane, Five News.